Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another installment of Mistake Monday. So every Monday, we just uh, we come on here and kind of share some mistakes that other wholesalers um, have made, we've made ourselves, or just anything that we see going on um, in our marketplace from time to time, and kind of share our thoughts on it. So today, I just kind of wanted to go over the mistake of uh, daisy chaining a deal. So uh, for those of you that don't know, daisy chaining is when um, say I have a property that I'm selling, you take that property, send it to your buyer, mark it up without me knowing, um, and having that buyer pay your price. And then um, you kind of make the split between what I have it for versus what you sold to them for. Um, so it's not really the cool thing to do. Um, you know, it, it happens all the time. People should honestly, they, they just need to get a JV agreement in place. Um, that's the right way to do it. Um, you know, just recently we had someone daisy chain a deal of ours. Um, I think it got daisy chained two or three times. So someone got it from us, marked it up, who took it to someone and they marked it up. And I had no idea that was even going on. Um, and the deal ended up not even, not even happening. There was an interested buyer. Um, and then it just kind of got messy. They eventually, uh, I did some research and saw that we had the property. Um, but it was just a big mess and that deal did not happen. So um, that's just a, that's an easy example right there of daisy chaining gone wrong. Um, so it's, that's, that's not the way to do it. If you want to go about, uh, you know, helping people out, trying to make money by selling other people's deals, reach out to them first and let them know kind of what your plans are. If you've got a buyer for their property and just, just JV the deal, get a, get a JV agreement in place and then market that property to your buyer at the same price. So if they do some research, they don't find it somewhere else for cheaper and just kills your credibility. Um, and it's really hard to kind of recover from that. So, um, you know, don't make the mistake of, of daisy chaining other people's deals. Um, it's kind of, it's the nasty way to kind of get business. Um, it's frowned upon highly. Um, I'm not a fan of it. There's a lot of other people that aren't a fan of it as well. So um, that's, that's it for mistake Monday. Don't daisy chain, get a JV agreement instead, do it the right way, do it clean and make some money. All right. Thanks guys.